Welcome YouTube, uh, Greg M. Life on the go, back for 2021, trying to start back up my track and field uh, updates, um, maybe get into some coaching tips. Uh, I had planned on trying to do a little coaching tip because you know my background is track and field. I work with the Air Force, which you know, back you know, you know, a couple of years ago with help preparing basic training recruits for fitness, not track and field, of course, but because of my background and training. Um, level one certified, so I figure, you know, never too late to get back involved. Do a little coaching via YouTube for those who need it. So I'm still working on that. I've been kind of lazy and distracted with other things, but I will be trying to get into it. So what do y'all feel about um, the Olympics this year? Y'all ready for it? I'm hoping that it will go on and things will, you know, get flowing because I don't know if it won't be 100% perfect, but let's hope the athletes get their break because this is their way of life. This is the way they make their money. This is their job and this is their passion. This is what they love. But when you're not competing or you're not able to train because of the COVID-19 environment, it's a, a, a big wreck on, on people's way of life. So, you know, the good news is vaccines are out. We just got to get people to take the vaccine. So far, a lot of people that gotten the vaccine are not having no major issues. A few people with reactions, um, but so far seem minimal. And they keep improving it and hopefully will continue to improve it. Because, you know, it seems like every couple of years, these things mutate and we have to get better at these vaccines to counteract any kind of changes in, in, you know, viruses or whatever, but to make sure we can continue way of life. But right now, the good thing is we're, you know, the government is putting stuff out. They're working hard to get the vaccine out. And I want to see everybody get their way of life back. Even if it's not perfect right away, but, um, I'll take, a, um, you know, life going back to normal, even 90%, you know, it doesn't have to be 100%. It will get to 100% once we, we keep working on, you know, getting these vaccines and people not scared of taking the vaccines. So, you know, this is just my little intro. Um, you know, let's see what we can get going for track and field this year. I got to get some updates. I might bring you some past news. Some of you might have already seen it, but I'll carry it for those who want to, you know, get some information on what's going on out there. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there already on info, but I'll just be doing my two cents with a little analysis and hopefully some info that you've maybe not seen yet. So anyway, with that said, you know, look out for more videos. You know, like I said, I'm thinking of doing some track and field coaching video uh, videos, you know, just giving training tips. Um, trying to get figure out how to use this video settings um maybe some diagrams or you know some programs i'm trying to decide how i want to do it but anyway not going to keep this too long you know check out this latest track and field update that i have and um i'll you know probably get some more out later on all right so take care till next time Welcome, welcome, YouTubers. This is Greg, Greg M. on the go. I hadn't done a video yet since last year. I think October was my last video. I'm trying to catch back up to some track and field updates. As the season already got underway in January, but um, I saved a few results. This is the most current one, of course, from track and field news. So as you can see, track and field news is the source. And it says here, Madrid with Grant Holloway breaks vintage hurdle record. And um, apparently he got the world record. A time of 7.29 by Grant Holloway finally snipped 0 0.01 off the world record set by Colin Jackson back in 1994. Source Jean Pierre Durand. So apparently in Madrid, Spain, February 24th, it had been an indoor season of fabulous races for Grant Holloway. Fabulous, but frustrating as the world record in the 60 
um, hurdles Daniel seemingly just out of reach. So in his four meets, each with heats leading up to the WIT conclusion in the Spanish capital, he had zipped under 7.40 an astounding five times, topped by an American record 7.32. He's 23 years old, Virginia native, from, came to Madrid Galore Sports Center with his heart set on finally breaking Colin Jackson, 7.30 standard. Colin Jackson is actually from Great Britain back in the day, a record four years older than he. He said the night before, I want to go out on the track and have fun. If it falls, great, but I don't want it to be an obsession. This is the job I've always wanted to do. And I am enjoying it. A brilliant 7.32 in the heat tied the American record and also matched Jackson's 94 feet of six races under 7.4 in a single season. For anyone else, this would be a cause for celebration. All the way he wanted more. So he went in there, starting in lane six, the Florida Loom Reach hurdle one with the fences of lead over Italy Paolo Dal Molin. But by the second set of barriers, it was over. Holloway flew over each barrier cleanly and won the final set. And won by the final set, he led by more than a meter. He charged the line, producing a perfectly timed lean. Then waiting began in the spectator-less stadium. The scoreboard flash, 7.32. Holloway frustrated, waited for the adjustment. His 7.32 heat had originally popped up at 7.34. An official tried to hand him a war record sign. He waved it off and continued to watch the board as photographers clustered around. Finally, the new war record 7.29 was announced and Holloway raised his arms to celebrate his first global standard. I wouldn't say what it was. I wouldn't say it was a perfect race, but I, but I tied my PR in the heat and that usually means I run faster in the final, said Holloway. I just went out there and executed my race to the best of my ability. I said before the race that if the record fell, it fell. But my main goal was to just have fun. And that's what I did. I know that's not going to be in the, in the record books forever. And when I fall asleep tonight, I will fall asleep and I will, I'll, I'll, I will already be in the past. Now I will start looking forward. I want to get back to Gainesville, talk to Coach Holloway, uh, have a big old stake, and go through the film. The world record outdoor is definitely in, in my size, but I want to let all this soak in before first. Then my priority is to win the Olympic trials and then go to the Olympic, go, then go for the Olympic gold medal, of course. So. Made a fantastic race. Everyone is gearing up for the Olympics. And I hope it looked like it might go off, you know, you know, you know, maybe not perfect, but the, the vaccine is coming out and lots of vaccines. And the US is finally getting on, you know, the, the logistics done is, you know, they're still working out, getting it out to the entire population. Hopefully the athletes won't shy away from getting the vaccines cause you know, there's still a lot of conspiracy and, you know, the black community, you know, have a fear of being experimented on. And we don't want athletes to not be able to, you know, get their opportunity in the Olympics that they work four years for, you know, it's cause put a lot of hard work and blood and sweat and disappointments and obstacles. For some, it's their way of life it's, it's how they make their living with the sponsors and and all that kind of stuff so you know this is their job for, you know for many of them they're professional athletes track and field athletes so um i'm hoping they'll get the vaccine they can maybe even have spectators I'm not sure about that if they'll just do it with limited spectators but i think the athletes don't care about that they just want to perform so that's my Quick presentation here, track and field updates. Greg M on the go. I'll try to bring more updates and analysis of what's going on in the world of track and field because 
that's my thing. I want to bring awareness to track and field, put my two cents out there and let it get recognition because uh, it doesn't get the recognition and exposure like other sports. If you don't watch YouTube or, you know, grab it on some foreign channel, you won't know what's going on in track and field. So more to follow. And that's it for now. And um, I'll be out until next time.